Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Talking about losing right now, I'm going to go ahead and update this. Conor Ben is losing. What do you have? A second failed test. So, I don't even know what to say anymore, okay? What I don't want to do is I don't want to break a champion down, break down this young man because there's been a lot of hurtful things said about him. But the frustration is this, right? Y'all tried to cover up this damn pet test, okay? Doesn't matter what he says, all right? It's, it's, it's in his system. Now, things happen. Things happen. I will say this. I will say this, okay? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt that maybe he's trusting someone who's giving him his supplements or trusting his team, right? That could happen, okay? I think it's, it's kind of natural to have a knee-jerk reaction with something like this and say he knew what he was doing, okay? But check it out. When he tested positive for this same substance, earlier this year, so this is a second fail, or second positive test, okay? Now, first time, one time deal, whatever. But when you test positive for it twice, that's, that's problematic. That's problematic, okay? And you look at the first time where he, he tested positive, that's around the time where he scored that first round knockout victory over Chris Van Herden in April. And then he secured another, you know, violent stoppage over Chris Algieri in, in December. I, I'm going to go ahead and say this. You know, I wasn't talk. I talked about, hey, you know, how he looked against Algieri, you know, but there's no really no proof. But now that we know he failed another test, you know, before those fights, and there was no testing going into those fights. People. Look, look, look. I, I, I'm trying not to really attack Conor Ben, But the bottom line is he cheated. He took pets, okay? You don't, just, you don't just become a monster overnight. He was always a strong, athletic, talented kid. Talented man now, okay? But, you know, when, you, when, when your body changes like that, and you just start hitting people with one shot and they can't handle it and your stamina, you get stronger as the fight goes on. You know, it makes you wonder. And now that you keep, you know, we understand this drug he was taking. So, so understand this, right? This clomiphene, we already know the whole thing. I've done videos, you guys have done your research. It's used to treat infertility in women. So there's absolutely no application towards men. Absolutely none but it can increase testosterone in men. But check this out. This is a fact I'm about to give you, all right? Some of these scientists are saying, depending on the male taking clomiphene, it can increase his testosterone 50% to 200%. Can you believe that? It can increase the testosterone 50% to 200%. That is crazy. So what Conor Ben becomes as a result of taking that drug is he becomes a machine. An absolute machine. So you have these guys who are, you know, making the way to fight him, okay? And it's a normal male in there basically against a damn alien. And you wonder why the way he's been looking and creating such a buzz in the last couple of years is because of this drug. Now, if we take it all the way back, I didn't bring up box rec. I should have. There was... There was a couple of fights early in his career where in the first round, he got himself into trouble. 
where he almost got his ass knocked out. But ever since that loss, he's just continued to just build his profile and look better and better, stronger and stronger, and just overall improved exponentially in the ring. I'm going to wait today they unearth the facts, if they could timetable this and kind of show when he started taking it, if they can say that definitively, to definitively with proof. If not, give us a wag on just based on how he performed when you suspect he could have started taking it, okay? But what I do know right now is he dodged the bullet for that first fail test, came back, had a couple fights, looked like an absolute machine is what he looked like. And then now he's come and was going to go in the ring and look like an absolute machine against Chris Eubank Jr. in the second fail test. So he can say that the disrespect is loud, but when the facts come out, he's expecting that apology from everyone to be just as loud. But I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. Let's hope, let's hope that you can prove your innocence. But right now, it's not looking very good for him. It, Eddie Hearn's already just totally destroyed himself, in my opinion. He has, nobody has any faith in that man's word. He, anytime he gets put in front of a camera, no one's going to take, take him seriously. And you know what I liken it to? I liken it to showing up late, someone who shows up late all the time. Who can take you serious if you show up late all the time and not give, not keeping your word? Who can take you serious if you don't keep your word? And now you're a cheat. Who can take you serious now that it's proven that obviously something happened? That, you know, I, I think he's aware of it. But let's, say, let's just say he, he wasn't aware that they were giving him these... these uh, Pad, right? Or this pad, right? Someone on his team was cheating. And it's not okay. So I hope they find out who it is, what it is. But when it happens twice, you gotta wonder. All right, we could he could take the victim stance if this is the first time. Okay, Canelo Beef. Hey, I just I didn't do anything, whatever. But when it's the second time for the same thing. Makes you wonder. And then when you understand that drug increases testosterone 50% to 200% in males, depending on their body and body type. And in addition to that, this, um, this drug masks other PEDs that are being taken by athletes. So it has a twofold purpose, which makes it extremely dangerous and where the fighter benefits greatly from having this in the system. It's, it's frustrating, man. But you know what's the most scary about this? Is that first fail that he had, that shit was covered up. See, the, the, the whistleblowers are out there. Someone else came to the Daily Mail and brought that to him. An unknown source. I told you guys in other videos, don't be surprised if more stuff starts coming out. Because people have lost respect for Eddie Hearn. No one wants Eddie Hearn to thrive anymore. You know, before it was just a matter of, you know, giving him a little, a little, a little slack, poking fun at him. You know, nothing serious, but... For people to, to know for a fact that Eddie Hearn tried to cover up this test with Ben and we're going to put him in there at a disadvantage, at a disadvantaged Eubank Jr., people are pissed. Now, I said there'd be, a, there'd be more coming up. Now that people are tired of it, they're like, you know what, fuck it. Let's just, excuse me for cussing. First time in almost 440 videos that I've used the F word. I apologize, right? People are like, screw it. Screw it. Um, let's just bring him down. So now somebody 
who had no reason, you know, like they could have just left it alone. No, they went over and told the Daily Mail that there's been another cover up. They have an early in the year. Man, that is crazy, 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 crazy. Now, I am still shocked and surprised by this. And I understand it's probably been a tough couple of days for Conor Ben and his team. But, you know, I'm not sure what his next options are. They keep talking about rescheduling the Eubank Jr. fight. You know what? I don't, I don't think that should be their focus at all. I don't think fighting should be their focus for Conor Ben. Conor Ben is facing an indefinite ban. Boxing. Then it could be, you know, if it's not that to that extreme, it could be four years. It could be, you know, four months. It could be nothing. But the word is it, he could get a lifetime ban or some are saying four years. But if he got banned, a four-year ban, that man wouldn't be fighting, able to fight till after he's 30. You know, it's crazy. But what he needs to do, instead of worrying about fighting, he needs to figure out how he's going to immediately clear his name. He hasn't been able to do it. He hasn't even offered an excuse. That's what concerns me. And that's why I think he cheated and he knows he cheated and he knows there's no way he can prove that he didn't cheat. Now, if he comes out and can somehow prove something, I'll, I'll do a video on it and say, hey, I jumped the gun. You got to be properly informed before you make a decision. And I was poorly informed and made the wrong decision. And I put together some videos that probably didn't really help his situation. And I apologize. However, don't see that happening. <laughs> Where there's smoke, there's fire. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. They need alkaline water is what they need. They don't need no regular water. They need some damn purified alkaline water to, to put that fire out. But it, it, who knows? It, it's, it's crazy. But, you know, a young man like that, 26 year old, to dedicate their life to the sport, he wants to try to, you know, live up to his father's name and... It's, it's crazy, but right now, Conor Ben, he's in a bad, he's, he's in bad shape. That man needs help. He needs help. Um, it's just frustrating. But I just wanted to bring that to you, man. It's, it's been two tests. And, and, and trust me, trust me. I'm going to say this. My prediction, more is going to come out on him where he's been taking this shit for quite some time. And, and I'm going to timetable it back. I, I should have put it up in box right There's a fight. I think it was in that first round. He got dropped. He yeah, uh, he got rocked. I don't know if he got dropped. But he almost, he was out on his feet. He came back and won the fight. But I think if you timetable it and go back to around that fight, I think that's when you're going to show that, you know, if they can prove it. I think if anything comes out, they're going to show that. All the way back to that fight is where he may have been taking something. And this is horrible, you know. And this isn't even, like, like with me, it's just, what's, this is just what the talk is at the moment. It's not even about a UK fighter, American fighter, Asian fighter. It's just a fighter, man. He has a huge name, and he's just out, out there right now. And um, that man needs support. But I'm telling you, two times, it's not an accident. So we'll see what's going to happen. But Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn right now, yo, he's he's poison. He's poison. I had to do another video on him, man. I just have lost all respect for him. But right now, nothing going on with Conor Ben as far as fights. That he needs to figure out how to clear his name. It's been two tests. The whistleblowers are out there. They don't like Eddie Hearn as a result. And, and you know what I think? I, I don't even think people are really trying to, to get at Conor Ben to break Conor Ben down, to, to tear him down, to, to ruin his career. I think it's their disgust, their disdain, their frustration with Eddie Hearn that they're like, you know what, this needs to stop. And they're just, like I said, it was an imminent source and and and, and they, they wouldn't disclose who it was. But there's a whistleblower in that camp who's saying, hey, this ain't the first time, here's the proof. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate because Eddie Hearn doesn't have control anymore. 
if he had control, he'd be, he would have been able to contain that. He can't contain it. Because obviously some people out there really disappointed in his actions. So it is what it is. But that being said, man, y'all like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. What do you think about the second test? Do you think he's innocent? Do you think we should wait and not have a knee-jerk reaction and just, you know, basically say, hey, he's guilty? Um, I don't know, man. Peter Fury has a way he feels about it. I have my opinion, um, but I'd like to hear yours. That being said, shout out to the veterans, people from across all seven continents. Y'all keep cool, keep safe, and as always, I'm in the breeze.